So Talatalks is an event that came uh, in the wake, I suppose, of, of recent suicides um, and not so recent suicides as well. Obviously being a Talat native, I've, I've watched for many years um, lives being, being destroyed and turned upside down by, by mental health and, and also suicide. Um, so Darren Dillon it was actually that came to me and just felt that there was the likes of me and him and lots of other people within the Talat community that have a profile and that we should be using that profile to be able to bring people together and act as champions for the services that operate within uh, Talat and how can we do that. So I went away and, and I suppose had to think about what that might look like. So Talat Talks then um, is a, a day of conversation, open dialogue, panels, performances, um, all around the topic of mental health, um, early intervention, prevention, um, how the community and families can respond when, when we are faced with suicide. So there's an array of different subjects and, and really amazing speakers on the day. And um, so we hope that it can serve as the force of many um, conversations um, in Tala. Um, I've obviously attended many mental health conferences for years and I felt that they weren't happening in the hearts of the communities that need them most. What do you hope the day is going to achieve? Um, a number of things. First thing is, it's in the name, Tala Talks. And I want, you know, I want us to be part of the conversation. I used to feel when I was at these conferences that people were talking to us about mental health, not necessarily that within communities and classrooms and houses that we were talking to each other about our own mental health. And I want to really start a process by where that's happening in a much more open and cohesive way amongst community as a whole and not leaving it up to services to, to act as the crisis point of mental health but that if we actually come together as coaches, as public representatives, as community groups, as schools, teachers and, and parents especially and, and if we can come together and have a much more collaborated approach about how we can support each other to support our young people or to support whoever it is in our community that's suffering with mental health. So that's one point is that I just want us, I want us to work more closely together to share information, share resources and, and be a direct link to each other so that we can support uh, the people within our community. The other thing is I wanted to I want to, to serve as a starting point for events like this to happen in, in, in Tala and beyond. So any working class area or any rural area that, that doesn't have access to, especially the people. So the people that I've asked to speak on the day, I've seen them speak at various things. But these things, when I'm at them, you never see a young man from Tala, you know, or I've never bumped into somebody that I know at them. So I want to take those resources that exist in those more affluent areas and I want to drag them resources and, and that information and those people. So I want this to be a starting point for the people that do make decisions, that do give these talks. I want them to see Tala. I want them to be part of Tala and I want them to bring that message around positive mental health and around access to services to the Tala community. And who is Tala Talks for? Um, well, it's, it's for the community. It's for the ordinary community members. Um, I feel, obviously I've worked in the community development and, and the addiction services for so long. So in that role, I always had access to, service, uh, to training. So this is for people that don't ordinarily have access to attend something like this. Um, so it's for, you know, I'd love to see a large cohort of young men. Obviously, um, you know, the suicide rate amongst young men is so high. Um, even though it's actually, you know, more women attempt suicide, but more men actually, um, you know, uh, see it right through and uh, have died over the years from suicide. So I'd love to see a cohort of young men. I'd love to see parents. I'd love to see coaches, anyone that has direct access to young people. Um, so the community. You know, so you know we're very open to services coming along to advertise themselves on the day as well. But it's not, you know, it's not for you know all the staff or all the services, or it's not for politicians to have a platform. It's just I want it to be grassroots, and I want the people that um, need to be part of the conversation to be in the room, and and to hear the information on the day.